As a population attributable fraction, cannabis causes about 0.8% of triggers of myocardial infarction. Myocardial infarction, as a, triggered by cannabis, can only happen in the first two hours after smoking cannabis. After that, the evidence is that there is no further risk. Cannabis operates through the adrenergic system in the first place and then kicks over into a parasympathetic situation. After about 30 minutes, the plasma noradrenaline rises and stays up for about two hours. How cannabis is dangerous is specifically that it may cause vascular spasm, it may cause an increase in 2B3A glycoprotein, which is a fibrinogen receptor, and increase the P-selectin, which increases the adhesiveness of platelets. So what happens when somebody smokes cannabis is that they may get a vascular spasm or they may get a, uh, an increase in platelet adhesiveness and also in carboxyhemoglobin. These together may trigger a myocardial infarction in people who are susceptible and the evidence is that in case reports coronary arteries may have been diseased or may be clean in those who have succumbed to an acute myocardial infarction in that circumstance.